From your experience, what are the benefits and the dangers of an increased size and role of governments in the economies of the developed and developing world? Do you think that the countries of Africa will be able to strike the right balance? Well, I don't think it's the size of the government that matters as much as the composition, what actually governments are doing. Uh, and if you look at the historical trend, uh, governments have increasingly been moving out of areas where there is no role for government and focusing much more on areas where governments actually can provide some, uh, some value, such as infrastructure or health or education and so on. So I think the trend has been in a, in a positive direction. There's still a long way to go. But that said, my concern is that even in those areas where there is a legitimate role for government, such as infrastructure or health or education, many governments are failing to provide those services to poor people. Uh, we have uh, absentee rates for, doc for teachers in, in Ugandan public primary schools of 27%. And we just did a study in Chad that showed that for the money that was allocated to primary health clinics, only 1% actually arrived in the primary health clinic. So there, there are serious government failures in many of these areas. Now, the, the solution is not for government to get out of these areas, because there's a legitimate role for government to play, but to make sure that government can actually play that role, rather than play the opposite role, which is undermining the effectiveness of these resources. So there has to be some kind of transformation in the effectiveness of the public sector in Africa if we're going to make a, make a real dent in poverty.